Well, hello, everybody. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo back with you again in another procedure. Today we're working on teeth numbers 17 and 18, which are located in the ninth, excuse me, the 18 and 19 position due to orthodontics. We're not only going to change out these composite restorations to all ceramic uh, of the all ceramic type, but we're also going to alter the patient's tooth morphology or the actual anatomy of the teeth so that she would have much more function. As you can notice, we've already started, but the patient felt a little bit with the procedure, so we had to re-anesthetize. So hopefully we're, we're good to go. And we'll start off, this is uh, using a stereo zoom microscope, and we're just going to go ahead and zoom in now to about 5 power. All right, so you guys can see that. All right. And I'm just going to check with my patient. You feeling well with that, Maria? Everything good? Okay. She must have gave a thumbs up. She said she did. I'm using a ball diamond because I know the, the diameter of this ball diamond is 2 millimeters. So that's my depth cut. And I'm, by doing that, I'm still within the parameters of her filling material or composite and we're going to come right through the, the buccal and lingual grooves through the buccal and lingual grooves and we'll open it up a little bit more and in the process of doing so I'm removing some more of her composite. Now composite is dent in color the dentin shade, so it's going to make it a little, a little difficult. It'll be a little bit of a challenge to get it all out of there. So we have to use some of our higher power techniques to do that. Okay. Now I didn't check with the patient. I don't know how old these these fillings are on her mouth. Maybe you can raise your finger and let us know, Maria. More than 10 years, your fillings? Yeah. Okay. So more than 10 years. All right. I would just kind of open it up now. Uh, she was feeling cold sensitivity for a long time as well. So there is probably some gingival recession and gingival abrasion that we will have to cover with our restoration. So right now I'm just opening it up gently. We're using a lot of water. Alright, and uh, We'll get the one tooth prepared. Now, we've also placed retraction cord before we place the rubber dam. And that, again, that's going to help us with uh, saving us time so we don't have to do it later on. So I'm just going to take now time to Start preparing my V cut into the tooth. You okay, Maria? All right, she's doing fine. And do my other V cut. So you got a, a central groove, which amounts to a central groove, and then the laboratory can follow this and trace out the anatomy. Now there's still composite that we have to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and I can see a little spot right there. A little bit right there. And some composite. 
Okay, so there's some composite that's still there beyond the normal preparation outline that has to be removed. So I'm going to continue with my preparation. I'm going to start to come into the interprox and we'll start to uh, develop that. And I'm going to grab a mirror. Okay. And we'll follow the same for the wisdom tooth back here. So this is still still working on number. Now, as you can see, I'm going to come through in my mirror. I'm going to come through the contact area. So I want my suction right about here. Okay, you open up both valves. That's good. And you're going to dry the mirror. Yeah, let's keep the mirror dry. Perfect. And you see, we did that without, yeah, keep drying the mirror. And we did a nice job, and we didn't even, now we notice on the adjacent tooth, right in here, there's a little bit of plaque retention going on that, uh, there, but we're, we're looking for any, any changes in enamel. So we'll polish that. We did notice that some of the cord that we packed kind of went over on the adjacent tooth. So that needs to come back along the molar, and we'll do that now. There it goes. All right. So I'm looking straight down through the, my mirror, straight down, and we'll make the two uh, two cuts through the inner prox. Okay, same thing. Air on the mirror, same thing. Thank you. Go ahead, air on the mirror. Good. Great. All right. Now we'll go through the this last suction right here, nice and close. That's good. Open up your valves and your open up your valves. Make sure they're exposed. Yeah, those are the two valves. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Great. Come right on in now. Come real close. I'm in a little closer. That's it. All right. Okay. So now we've done our depth cut through there. That looks great. So we got the interproximal of this number 18 prepared. And we're going to do a little bit more on the same situation on the second molar, which is really a wisdom tooth. So I'll go ahead and prepare that. And uh, when we come back on the next segment, I'm going to have this tooth prepared. This one will be prepared, and you'll see how I prepare it. I want it to look a little bit more like this tooth. See how it's rotated, and we want to turn that around. We can do it through our tooth preparations, and then uh, we'll be ready for impressions. All right, Dr. Jerry Cuomo uh, here in Boca working on teeth numbers 17 and 18, and um, we'll look forward to you at the next segment. Take care.